Okay, so we got the, um, the instructions up to this point. This section is all set. Moving on to this section, you can see there's an opening in the aft end. And you can see you can see the bulkheads on the top illustration. And then when you drop down, you can see the arrow and he wants to put on all the planks. Which is uh, interesting because there's still the empty space over there. So we have the planks that are gonna go on the hull. We'll bring them back and then I guess we'll close in that area. Okay, so let's think about planking. You can see the bottom of the ship is all set for planking. It's gonna wrap around. I'm not really sure where it's gonna end. If it's gonna come all the way in the back, or we're gonna cut them. We should leave them long until we get to the, uh, the back, the stern. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the uh, we'll start from the starboard side and because of the uh, the point at the bow we need to put something underneath it so let's see how this will do um, how about a couple of testers paints yeah that should do pretty good pretty well there and we've got one sheet of the planks so you can see one that's a little bit shorter so these because they have the wording over there something and we can use that to close in the stern area so why don't we go ahead <clears throat> this section is already kind of off so let's see if we can uh, This is so thin, I might be able to use the scissors instead of using the, uh, the snips. And I know they're not gonna be perfectly straight. We're gonna have to angle them. So we can just go ahead and we can uh, snip those off as well. All right, let's start with these for now. Again, this will be my first time planking. And the bottom part is actually, we, could, we might be able to use that too for the uh, closing in the stern section. See, the stern section on a ship is really weird. They actually have just that, that's it. And you've got a couple of, um, what would they call them? Uh, on an ocean liner, it would be davits, but I don't know what they're called. They have a couple of things on either side and there's a dinghy hanging off the stern. And it just looks different. I don't know if I want to do that, if we, if I'm going to alter the back a little bit to make it look a little cooler, maybe a little more pirate-like. Maybe uh, put some windows to the captain's cabin and put a wall over here. We'll see when we get to that. But what we're going to do now is we're going to start planking. All right. And we're going to need a lot of glue for this. Might be better if I had uh, if I had some plastic. What if we try to put a little bit of glue? that instead of having to go back and forth constantly 
and I'm wondering if we can put it in one of the uh, one of these. Yeah, we'll see how that works. And we'll get a fresh Q-tip. <clears throat> and for the first row, it's gonna abut right against the bottom part for where the cannons are gonna be. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put blue on that section as well. Should be luck. I never did this before. So what I'm thinking is we should angle an end just a bit to get the same kind of shape. So let's so that can go right up against the uh, bow. See like that. thinking once all the planks are in place when I sand it it will make it a little bit more uh, even so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead I want to give it some extra glue to help it set okay so I'm thinking technically we got the first plank in Okay, so when it comes to the, the planking, and by the way, guys, I must apologize because I know it's been a while between videos. Um, I decided to change my approach a little bit. What we've been doing was I've been using the, uh, the Elmer's glue for the planking, and then we've been clamping it. Well, the Elmer's glue works really great, but the problem is it, it takes forever to dry. So I decided, um, to get a more quicker glue and this is the gap filling so this is from model expo and I had seen this and it's the insta cure so I'm like you know what let's do this it'll make it go a lot faster so let's pick up where we left off and you can see the different planks that we have to put onto the hull and it's gonna go back to the edge and you can see where we're gonna to have to start to cut them. So what I like to use, when you use the snips. So I'm gonna put just a drop. I'm gonna go all the way down there. Sure that it's going to be in place. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a lot better than using the Elmer's glue and, and waiting forever on it. Okay. So I just got to make sure that it's going to go right up against the keel. Because this piece is going to go up in there. Just like that. And 
And when it comes to be down by the rudder, I'm gonna cut it just about there. And like I said, it's better to be too long than too short. So let's... there and again guys I, I'm not an expert I've never made a boat like this before so <laughs> so I'm experimenting as I go along so if you're following along with me um, again I have no clue what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm just kind of feeling it as I go because the instructions really don't say anything on how to go about doing this okay so the aft end is on and eventually we're gonna trim all of this to make it even. And let's go to the front now. Let me try to get that down. Right about there, that's where I want it. All right, so let's... I'll show you everything in a moment. But this is where I want it. I should have used this glue right from the start, guys. Again, the Elmer's glue is good, but I, sh I did a, f a series of photos as I went up the side of the hull, and every time I clamped it, I took a picture, and I'll show you guys that, but this is so much easier. I mean, look, it's all ready. <laughs> Just like that, it, we're ready to move on. <clears throat> okay, so. Basically, we got the, um, the hull, this, okay, this would be the starboard side of the hull closed in. And before we start the port side, what I want to do is I want to take some of the, uh, the glue. And this also is the, um, the gap filling medium. What it's going to do is it's going to solidify the planks. And it's also going to make us... Um, it's going to give us the ability to sand it down. We'll smooth it out because this is going to actually be um, stained. All right, while that dries, we'll move on and we'll start doing the port side. Again, they don't really give you a lot of planks. All right, so we're gonna start at the bottom which in this case would be the top of the ship. And this is gonna wrap around, and it's gonna go right there, so we're gonna put the, uh, the angle for the bow in. It's faster than the Elmer's glue, but you still have to have patience.
All right, so all I'm gonna do like I did on the other side is I'm gonna go around and put a little bit of the glue to act as a little bit of a filler and to kind of solidify everything. Okay, so I'm gonna move on and the hull had time to dry. And I think what I wanna do is we're gonna finish off the hull and we're gonna cut the planks and then we're gonna finish planking the aft end of the ship. And when it comes to cutting the back, I like to use the, uh, the snips because it makes the uh, easiest and the smoothest cut. You can see we're gonna go right back to there on either side. So let's do is we'll go across with the planking and to give you guys an idea of how the uh, the aft end is going to look let's see what can I actually can be something like that we're going to come down and then from the bottom part, we're going to actually have to go through the inside because I think we're going to use something solid. You see this part over here needs to be built out like that. And when it comes to the inside part, it's going to go on the inside and it's actually going to be up against the rudder. So for that section, we have to do it from the inside. So my plan is to bring it, close it in this way. And I'm gonna go up to the top. So why don't we start cutting this? So we can cut this. Let's see, we'll bring it out just a bit and we're gonna cut it right there. See how that's a perfect fit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build it up that way. So looking at it from the inside, and you know, a little bit of the putty will, will close it in, but let me show you guys how you can see the back is starting to close in. So what I want to do now is we're going to put some, we're going to start to glue this. So let me just kind of bring this down to fill in that gap. And again, the wood putty will go a long way. You can see the way it looks from the inside. So I just want to just see how we just close that gap. So over here, wood putty can fill in. And again, guys, I have no clue what I'm doing. And the instructions really no help for me anyway. So I'm basically doing my own ship. <laughs> this is a fly I'm trying to do it by the cuff of the pants. So what I want to do is I want to put in a large section like this over here. And what this is going to do is it's going to solidify the top. So what I want to do is I want to smooth the uh, smooth out the end. See how sharp that end is. This one is getting there. So let's start to put some glue on the edges. OK, 
keep it clamped for a, a minute. Put some glue right there. And what I want to do is I want to frame that in. See, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm building up. I'm just closing in the hole. And then I want to do is I want to put the finished pieces like this sideways to kind of finish it off but what we got to do is we got to close the hole first we have to have an anchor to work with so that looks good let me go ahead and put some glue now to kind of solidify everything All right. what I want to do is I want to put this up against the back and that's going to put the finish finish look on it as well as a piece going on the side. All right, we're gonna wait for that to dry. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And again, I'm altering the ship, guys. It's not what the instructions call for, so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm kind of trying to make adjustments because the, uh, the instructions don't help at all. And again, we're gonna cut right across and I'm gonna put the, uh, the finish piece on top after this is a little, little drier. So let's solidify this now. There, and then one of the smaller ones can go there and then we're actually going to uh, finish it off going down So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but see how that looks a little more finished in the back? And then we can put some of the putty to kind of close it in. So let's go ahead and glue it. And I think that's gonna look a lot better than, basically than nothing the instructions had. And again, the wood putty and the stain is gonna kind of bring everything together. And I wanna sand this down. See how it's starting to look? It's starting to have the finished look in the back. And like I said, some of the, um, the putty will close it in. Okay, and I know I sound like a broken record, but the wood putty um, is gonna fill in the gaps and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stain it. I think what I'm gonna do is the deck itself, 
I think we're going to put the um, the maple. And when it comes to the to the hull and the areas around this section, I think we're going to do the um, the espresso. So I think that's going to look really good. So before we do the wood putty, we have to wait for everything to dry. But hopefully you guys can see how this closed in um, the hull. The back of the hull section is closed in. We've got the finished piece. And again, this is my idea. <laughs> this is not the instructions and you can tell. Um, so you can see the back. And like I said, the putty is gonna hide a lot, a lot of the mistakes, and it's gonna look more, it's gonna give it more of a finished look. And again, in the, uh, the listing, they had a little dinghy that was hanging off the back, a little boat. And um, I did a complete unboxing of this model, guys, and there is, there's absolutely no dinghy that's gonna go off. And they have the cannons for this boat. I'm thinking of actually making this more like a sailing yacht because it, with the cannons, it's not gonna be very, very intimidating because it's such a small boat. Um, we can turn this into our own private yacht. I think that's gonna be fun. So you can see we got the finished section in the back now. We got all the planking on the ship itself. You can see the finished areas that we put on in the back that we built out that we're gonna close in with the, the putty. The inside is closed in. We got the finished section on top. And we're gonna be ready to move on. So like I said, in the next video, we're gonna put the putty, we're gonna close in the gaps, we're gonna sand it, and we're gonna stain it. So that should pretty much finish off the hole. So my friends, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, I'll talk to you soon.